while his contemporary passion and energy for the plectrum banjo present an image of a young up-and-comer, Lee Floyd continues a lifelong career as a professional banjoist and entertainer which began a half century ago. Born Orville Lee Floyd III, Lee's involvement with the banjo started in Denver in 1962 when the seeds for a father and son banjo act were planted by an Eddie Peabody performance. With Peabody's encouragement, Lee and his dad, known as the Banjo Lees, performed at nightclubs, theme parks, and resorts until 1971 when the younger Floyd set out to make a solo career for himself. The 40 years which followed took Lee Floyd on a banjo odyssey which balanced his persistence and dedication with the rewards of working in many of the most revered entertainment centers in the world. Following his first stop at Chicago's Red Garter in 1972, Lee began a 30-year association with the Walt Disney Company at Disneyland in Anaheim, California. As Disney expanded to Orlando, Florida, Lee moved as well, becoming a staple at both the Walt Disney World Resort as well as Rosie O'Grady's at the famous Church Street Station Entertainment Complex in downtown Orlando. Orlando, Las Vegas, Atlanta, Fort Lauderdale, Laughlin, Pensacola, Mobile, Tokyo, and Osaka, Japan were all places that Lee Floyd called home before settling down in New Orleans in 2009. There, adopting the stage name Lee Plink Floyd, the fertile musical environment of New Orleans allowed Lee to experiment with new sounds, musical textures, and perceptions for both the banjo as well as the musical setting in which it is presented. With his newest CD, Nickels and Diamonds, Lee Floyd's genre-busting performance virtually reinvents the Plectrum banjo's image and illustrates why he remains an inspirational trendsetter to banjo players all over the world. As musicians, Lee reflects, we stand on the shoulders of the masters who have come before us. What we do with what we can see from that lofty vantage point is limited only to the love, dedication, and commitment we apply to our chosen instrument. I continue to be inspired and amazed that there is so much music, new music, that can be played on the banjo. You never know where or when you will find it, but when you do, it is a wonderful feeling to discover it, all for the banjo. <laughs> <laughs> 